So hello fellow Earthlings. This is Earthling 6455463728. And I wanted to talk about regrets. You know, I've seen a couple interviews with people um, maybe after they've passed their prime and uh, in a particular media spotlight. And some of them say like, okay, I don't have any regrets. You know, I what's done is done. And I thought about it and I have a lot of different regrets. Things that I wish that I had done differently. The problem is that if I hadn't done those things the way that I did them, I wouldn't have known that it weren't going to work out. And even when, you know, you do something and it doesn't work out and you do something and it doesn't work out, and then you're like, oh my God, I did it so many times and it didn't work out. Um, especially if you, you know, you heard somebody. Um, I think a lot of times, what, when you regret something, it's often because we're not in that place anymore. And we don't know all of the factors that made us decide to make the choice that we made sometimes. And a lot of times, if, you th if I think about it, um, I probably would have done some of these things that I regret the same exact way again. You know, um, I'm surprised when I look back at things that are surprisingly recent. And I, I feel like, wow, how come I still don't have that under lock and I don't know how to deal with that kind of situation better now. You know, like being brutally honest in a particular situation. Why is it that after so much time, knowing that it's better to be honest, that I can't just go ahead and just be honest? Why do I stick? You know, and uh, I think that I probably for some of these things, I would probably need to make the mistake repeatedly over and over um, a spe specific number of times in order to learn that, okay, when you're in this situation, you need to do it. And I, I think it, it comes down to time in a lot of instances. Sometimes we just don't have enough time to make a good assessment of the situation and come out with the best course of action. It's really easy when you have years afterwards to look at what you did in a particular situation and be upset. The same way as it's really easy to do the same thing for other people, you know. Um, we can get upset with things that other people did in a very time-dependent circumstance and not realize, hey, that guy had two seconds to make a choice. He can't remember, you know, every single word and every single uh, thing that has gone on in the past that can help you make a good decision. So we are going to make some of these mistakes repeatedly because we cannot train ourselves given the short number of examples that we go through in life. You know, one of the things that I remember, for example, is um, when I was really young, well, not really young, uh, this girl who I didn't know said, hey, this girl, she likes you. And I was like, okay, what am I supposed to do about that? I don't, I really don't know what I'm, <laughs> and the funny thing is that it was it uh, quite a while ago, um, I still didn't know what to do with that. You know, I mean, how am I supposed to, to deal with that? Hey, you want to go out or something? I mean, and just other circumstances like that where it is hard to know what the next best thing to do is. You know, even if, in a lot of circumstances, even if I could go back and, let's say, fix that one situation, I would probably end up making a similar mistake some other place because I wouldn't have had the 
experience of making that mistake. So, regrets, they're there, I think, for us to mull over in our downtime and perhaps try to come up with a plan for what we can do next time and hope that we can remember the plan that we came up with and that it still applies and would work in this situation given that some parameters may have changed. I know one thing that I've learned from some regrets. For example, if uh, you have suddenly, suddenly given an opportunity to go and do something um, that you have to make a decision right now and the effects of it are going to last, you know, should you go on a road trip right now, you don't have time to pack. I think that was something that was in um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. There were two versions of the guy. One where he was uh, given the opportunity to go on an alien ship. And the other one where, well, it's one where he went and one where he didn't. And of course, I've never had the opportunity to go on an alien ship around the galaxy or the universe. But in op when opportunities like that have happened... I realize that usually I should probably say no because um, if something if you don't have enough time to think properly um, I feel like you when you take that opportunity that thing that seems so amazing a lot of times because of that lack of time to prepare you I usually end up you know, somewhat uncomfortable, whatever the situation might be. I might be missing something that I need, my wallet or my phone or something I might not have if it's like, all right, we got to go now. You, you come in or not? And yeah, you can't come back because it's some kind of road trip for a couple of days or a couple of hours or something. It's just usually no. And one of the things that kind of surprised me, I didn't realize it, is that, you know, when you think hey, maybe I should fix this thing that you had a thing with somebody and it, it wasn't pleasant or it became awkward and you think to yourself, you know, if I had the opportunity to talk to that person again, I would explain and I would say this and that and somehow you could make it better. In my experience, um, especially when it comes to girls where you might feel, hey, I want to explain why I didn't do this, or why I didn't do that, or the other. Um, it doesn't go well. When you think that, you remember all those years ago when here, and you see it in a movie, and you know, you explain, and I don't know what's supposed to, what happens in a movie, but in my experience, that has not worked. Um, most likely what happens is the other person just doesn't answer. I don't know if it's because what it is. Um, yeah, girls don't usually answer and say, well, you know, thanks for being honest or where did that come out from? That's unusual or no, it, it doesn't. Um, probably... The reason why it didn't happen, whatever was supposed to happen, or whatever you thought was, they either they just don't want to talk about it, or I have no idea, because most of them, I can't talk with them about that incident. They just, normally it's something like, you know, I, I might send in an email, or I might send in Facebook, and they just don't respond and I don't really press them for anything else because I don't want it to become doubly awkward. So yeah, it it's funny. You think that going back and that you could fix it, but you can't, at least not me. And sometimes even when it's not with respect to a girl, if it's with respect to a guy, you know, just something weird happened and you never talked about it and uh, you figure, hey, let me just explain what happened that time. It doesn't help the situation. You don't get the catharsis that you thought you would have or the closure or whatever. 
It just seems like it's better to just ignore stuff and keep going forward. What I've started doing these days, and I don't know if it will work, is I'm trying to make a list of lessons that I've learned. Um, lessons that maybe might come back again. You know, I might have another opportunity to uh, do better in a particular circumstance. Um, so that, you know, next time around, I can see how it turns out or... And um, I haven't had really the opportunity to say how that is working out right now. But um, especially given how I'm taking care of my uncle and I don't I'll spend a lot of time uh, socializing too much or even going out. But I'm hoping that uh, it will be something that can help me going forward and make me happy that I've made you know some of these changes but you know the thing about it is that we really mostly focus on the problems so I you know as I have said in the past I used to call a hundred people a day or make actually make a hundred phone calls at least per day uh, to try and get contacts to send people people's email addresses of businesses and so on and I would only get two or three, for the most, refusals a day. But each one of those hundred phone calls, I was dreading the two or three refusals or the two or three unpleasant people. And um, that's how life is. The regrets might be small, they might be tiny, they might be almost inconsequential, but we stick on them. We, we can't move away from them. Um, and however small they are, you know, if I said something too quickly or I gobbled my word, that might be a regret if there was nobody who refused me. So, but anyway, guys, you can wish me luck. You can like or unlike. You can comment, subscribe, and or share. Peace.